Listen how to get rich. These financial gurus in Guyana taking loans upon loans year after year to buy plaster for put on Guyana cancer sore in the fastest growing economy on earth today with this oil alone. Since we start pumping oil and receiving that oil money, we are not only spending all out, but these chaps keep on grabbing loans upon loans year after year on our neck. In 2019, this country budget was 1.5 billion US with loans inside for them to spend. In 2020, them increase it to just over 1.6 billion again with loans plus the first set of oil money we get for them to spend. In 2021, the budget moves up to 2 billion US again with loans. And of course, the second set of oil money for them to have a good time. In 2022, them add the third set of oil money with another set of loan to increase that budget to 3 billion US for them to splurge. 2023, the budget gone higher. This time was over 4 billion American dollar. Again, four set of oil money disappear in it, plus them pad it up with more loans to hand out 865 million pump station contract and road contracts to one man who never set foot on a piece of mud. 2024, the budget jump up to over 5 billion US. And almost half of that is coming from loans. Plus, of course, again, the little oil money you will be getting will vanish in it too. For them to issue, I guess, more contracts. On top of all of this, at the end of every year, they are always taking more loans on the original budget figure. And when this is raised with the financial guru of Guyana, the man say, Guyana is in a better position than many countries in the world to take loans. Oh, we can sustain it because we got oil. Listen to it. I want to point out to you that in spite of the borrowing over the years, our debt to GDP, that, that is debt as a share of GDP, the economy, has come down from, from if you lose Greenwich's figure, it's 900% of the economy, or if you use the finance figure, it depends on the starting year, 600% of GDP to today in this budget, last year, it's 27% of GDP one of the lowest debt to GDP figures in the world. What are we borrowing for mainly? We're not borrowing to eat. Most of our recurrent budget is self-finance. That is from revenue. If you look at our recurrent budget, the capital budget, we borrow mainly for capital expenditure. And anyone who knows, if you have a business, you, ha you borrow to invest in the future, for future income. And all of these investments that we are ma making will enhance our capacity to have greater income in the future as a country. More revenue so we can get wealthier. Since Noah built the ark, we had a three billion debt and can't pay it off. This year, it climbed up to about seven billion. Mm. We gonna pay that off, right? Telling us we borrowing figure is the lowest in the world and how 
he borrowing to invest that will bring in revenue to the country. Ask him to name one single investment from since 1992 to 2024 that bringing in revenue, and you will be shocked. <laughs> since we find oil, every year they're borrowing to build highways, bridges, by planes, patrol boats, etc., etc. Now they're renting electricity ship to fast track the wholesale thievery of our resources by these foreigners. Oh, what a black hole are you finding yourself in? These scumbags taking loans upon loans on our backs, on our children's heads. Plus, spending out the little oil money to help fast track the reaping and reaping, looting of our present and our future. <laughs> While some of you stretching your hands to collect a once a year bonus, a once a year cash grant, and a four slice pumpkin salary increase them hand you with a hundred dollar a day increase for the pensioners. You can beat these three political parties <laughs> when these chaps done with Guyana and its resources. God help I you pick me. I hear mud cake that stays good. Must try it. <laughs>